James chapter 1. Now, the book of James is written by the half-brother of Jesus. I think it's interesting that Jesus himself was even part of a blended family. He knows what it's like to be in that kind of context. Not only that, if you think about it, um, Jesus had a, it seems, a single mom for quite a while. We don't know exactly what happened to Joseph, but he passed from the scene. So here's Jesus. He's part of a blended family. He has a single mom. And James, his half-brother, is writing this letter. And really the, the focus of it is, let's don't just talk about our faith, but let's put our faith in action. James is all about, you know, not just having a label as a Christian, but owning it, living it. Put faith in action is what James is all about. And chapter one deals with a lot of these issues of living out your faith. Living out your faith even in trials and tribulations and difficulties. He, he begins chapter one by talking about things like that. And he gets very personal. In fact, he says that our faith, our belief in Jesus Christ, this transforming power that comes into our life through the Holy Spirit should even control probably the most difficult thing in all our lives. And that's, well, that's our tongue. Listen to what James 1 says about that. It says, so then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. So listen quickly, speak slowly. And he goes on to say, you know, these, these are just practical things about living out your Christian life. He says, if anyone among you thinks he's religious and does not bridle his tongue, well, he deceives his own heart. This one's religion is useless. In other words, if, if you say one thing and talk another, he goes, it's useless, it's not real. So James chapter one deals with and starts to deal with the practical life of a Christian. It, it's about your tongue, it's about the way you, you know, take tribulation and trials. It's all about, well, the half brother of Jesus says, it's about putting faith in action not just talk, but living it and owning it.